Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. I uh, got a good one for you today. Actually, we got a lousy one for you today. What should be a really ugly fight uh, between Campbell Hatton and Jimmy Joe James Flint, two uh, in a rematch. Uh, I'm not a fan of either of these fighters. I think it, neither of them are good, but we got the rematch because uh, no one wanted to see it. And we're going to get it anyway. Before we get it up, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie can be at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Um, I've just lost my brain. <laughs> Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in that little ticket below. Just $5 a month gets you the lock of the week. It gets you asked to book anything. It gets you the updated props. It gets you request the video. It gets you the absolute best gambling advice in the boxing universe for just $5 a month. Uh, also, go over to carnivorebar.com. That's carnivorebar.com. Uh, for And use promo code 10%. Let me try that again. Go over to carnivorebar.com. I, I, my brain is not working today. Uh, carnivorebar.com. Get the nutrition of a steak in the convenience of a bar. That's carnivorebar.com. Uh, use promo code 10% at checkout at carnivorebar.com. Promo code boxing to save 10% at checkout. Get the convenience of a steak in the nutrition of Get, I'm sorry. Get the nutrition of a steak in the convenience of a bar on the move. Nutrition without compromise. That's carnivorebar.com. Use promo code BOXING to save 10%. Also, go over to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. All right, Texas Boxing Scene. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. Uh, Campbell Hatton and Jimmy James Flint, Jimmy Joe Flint, whatever we want to call him, little JJ. Really not a great fight. I'm not a big fan of either of these fighters. Uh, Campbell Hatton, front foot, aggressive fighter, gets a little wild and can be sloppy. And he can get tagged. But he's aggressive. He's come forward. He's a fun fighter to watch, even if he's not the best. Super sloppy, can easily tag him, throws hard shot, footwork is an absolute mess. I don't understand how who his dad is, what he is. He grew up in the sport. I don't understand why they can't fix his footwork. It's an absolute mess. He throws sloppy punches. He's slow. His footwork is awful. Uh, he's super. He said it makes him, his, his footwork is so awful, and it makes him super easy to hit. He leaves himself so wide open. Aggressive and opens up, and he gets hit a lot. Good fighters don't, great fighters don't get hit a lot. He's obviously not that. He does have decent power, but he's so sloppy with his punches. He throws a lot of wide punches. He throws way, way too many wide shots. I wanted to shorten up, keep everything short, and he just doesn't do that. Everything, well, not everything. He's so throwing wide shots, and he's it's, he's not fast, so he can't get away with it. You know, he's not Shane Mosley throwing those looping shots or, or, or Manny Pacquiao. Right? He's slow. He's, he throws wide shots. He's gonna get. He's gonna get hit. He's sloppy. He, he's not soft. He stays aggressive. He stays on you. He can throw some hard shots. Leads with his face too much. He's a sloppy defensive fighter who, who is some fun to watch. He's just not a world-class fighter. Like, there's nothing that tells me that this, and he doesn't need to be a world-class fighter to beat James Flint by any means because James Flint, we're going to get to that in just a second, is also not a world-class fighter, but he's an aggressive offensive fighter who's not a big hitter, who's not super fast, who doesn't throw clean punches, who gets hit a lot and leads with his face. I'm not trying to degrade Campbell Hatton. I'm just, that's what he is. He's a, he's a poor domestic level fighter. Who else is a poor domestic level fighter? Is my old boy, J.J. Flint. Get to my notes here on... I put that in the comment section. I put it out here in my notes. He sucks. Um, more decent movement. He moves better a little bit. A better athlete. More fundamentally sound than Hatton. Not saying he's fundamentally. He's more fundamentally sound than Campbell Hatton. Let me. That's an important asterisk. 
Uh, not a ton of volume. He's a counter puncher. He does go to the body well. He's also slow on the inside. He trades on the inside where he does not have very good hand speed. He is coordinated and has some decent feet. Uh, he's not a big hitter. If he trades on the inside with Campbell Hatton, I, I suspect he could lose. The first fight I thought was super close. I thought probably Flint edged it. He looked like trash in his last fight out. I I, I, look, I don't think either of these fighters are any good at all. I'm not trying to degrade no fighter. But uh, Campbell Hatton is a creation. And James Flint, Jimmy Joe Flint, whatever we want to call him, the uh, young lion, it just isn't any good. Uh, in his last fight, he lost to a guy named Kyle Boyd, who's terrible. It's just not a great fight. Um, you, you can get you can you can get Flint to show up. He gets backed up. He needs to stay off the ropes. He refuses to take the lead and let his hands go. He's a counter puncher, but he does throw in volume when he counter punches. Leaves himself open to be hit as well. Doesn't pivot out. He stays in the exchanges and he can't hit. And that is a very bad combination of things to do. You're going to get hit. Uh, and you, you, if you hit, you're going to get hit in return. And you can't punch and the other guy can. It's a bad combination of things. He did win the rematch. So I want to give him a chance to win in this fight. Uh, I, I do want to give him a chance. It heads on the line. Stands and gets hit. Doesn't pivot out. Does nothing really well. Stands in and exchanges. Stays behind a a high guard, and and stands in the exchanges. I, I, there's nothing to me that, that stands out about either one of these guys. I see a lot of flaws in both of them. I, I'm going to lead towards Campbell Hatton in a rematch here. I would say off this, the one bet I would make, which we don't have right now, is a prop bet for the fight to go over. I like the fight to go over. Uh, James Flint and Campbell Hatton have shown endurance. They've been shown an ability to withstand and, and heart and durability. And I think that is the one bet I would make here. I, I For the sake of this, if you're asking me who wins, I think Campbell Hatton wins. Uh, it is close to a 50-50 fight, minus 135, and James Flint at minus 110. Um, Campbell Hatton at minus 135, James Flint at plus 110. <laughs> This is a, a rough bet. I, I don't like betting on fights where, where the, the fighter's not good. Because when you're a bad fighter, anything can happen. We saw that in the first fight. And both of these guys are bad fighters. I'm not a fan of these guys. I, I don't I, I I've been critical of Campbell Hatton that he's a creation. I, I think that's come to light. And James Flynn is a Sorry about that. He's a bad fighter with a decent record who is supposed to make Campbell Hatton look good, and then he beat him. Um, I, I'm leaning towards Hatton, so I'll take that. Minus 135, even fight. I do like the prop of this thing to go over. I certainly think this is going to go the distance, so let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comment below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, my best advice on this fight is to lay off the money line. If you're going to bet, bet the over when that prop drops. The props haven't dropped yet, so head over to the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in that little ticket below. Five dollars a month. We'll show you how to make money on the props because this is a fight you want to make on the props, not the money line. Betting on bad fighters to win fights is never a good bet, and whoever you bet to win this fight is a bad fighter who you're betting to win. So I would look to avoid that. All right, y'all. Uh, go over to carnivorebar.com, carnivorebar.com. Uh, five, uh, use the promo code BOX. Boxing to save 10% on your purchase at carnivorebar.com. That's carnivorebar.com. Uh, nutrition of a steak, convenience of a snack, on the move nutrition without compromise. Okay, y'all. Uh, it is October 22nd, 2024, from Texas to the world. Sorry for the brain fart farts today. Uh, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.